Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're going to cover how to work with shape groups and how to make them. So let's begin. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and then go to new and select shape layer. Now it is empty right now. If we turn this down, we don't have any contents. So we are going to go to add and then we are going to select group. Now, if we open this up, we have a group but we don't have any shape, so we need to add a shape here. So we'll go to add again, and then we'll add a rectangle like this. So now we have our rectangle path. We have the shape, but it needs a fill. So go to add, and then we'll add a fill, and it's red, and we'll add a stroke as well. So we'll add a stroke like this, and we'll give it a stroke of 16. So now we have our shape group and we can change the name of our group if we want. If you just press enter, you can change the name and you can change the name of your shape path as well. Also, if you want to do that. Now I want you to notice something here. If I close this, when we added the stroke and the fill, it was not added to the rectangle path, but it was actually added to the shape group. You can not add these properties to the actual shape itself only to the group. And notice as well, if I make this bigger, it's like this. And now I'm going to open up my contents again. And notice how you can move certain properties around. So I will move the stroke down. And now our fill is on top. And we can also duplicate our paths, so, or our shapes, by pressing Command D. And I'll open one of them up and then we can move the position of them so that we can see them like this. And then this one here. And three is enough. So I'll delete this fourth one. And I'm also going to create another fill. I want to show you something with this as well. So I'll duplicate it and then I'll give this guy a different color. So I will give this person this tealish color. And I will move the first one up here. Notice that something happened. Because we have this below previous in same group selected, all of our rectangle shapes above our fill 2 have been given this teal blue. So that's something you can play with. And if I was to make this bottom one above previous, they would all be blue. So this is how you can work with your shape groups and how you can create them. Now, if you like this video and you want to receive more content like it, be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell so that you get notifications to all of our latest videos. And we will see you in the next one. Until next time.